This is exactly right. I am Barbara Gray, and maybe my parents are obsessed with thank you notes because they're paper mache the grandchild I'll never give them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey, and Beyonce is judging all of your crystals. Huh? Mm-hmm. I'm Tess Barker, and advice for famous women on how to age gracefully. Be a man instead. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. <laughs> we got Barbara, Brandy, and of course Big Tess. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby. It's time to hang out with your favorite ladies, ladies and ladies, ladies and ladies. I'm taunting David with my microphone. <laughs> Antics. Tricks. Yeah. Uh, lady to lady, that's the show you're listening to. Surprise. <laughs> Probably already know that. Yeah. <laughs> be weird if we substituted in like a joe rogan experience or something here instead i'm joe rogan yeah (laughs) (laughs) i don't know what just happened i don't know joe rogan impression back (laughs) i'm joe rogan (laughs) yeah 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 (laughs) You guys are crushing. <laughs> I'm a great impersonator. Yeah. If I could just say. It's the one thing people don't know about you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Come out on the road, see my Joe Rogan impersonations, because I'm on the road tonight in Sioux Falls. Oh shit. No, you're not. I am. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. That was my impression of Brandy. <laughs> 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 yeah perfect guys it's the last week of my tour come see me i'm probably going really crazy and i'm gonna have lisa curry with me to witness all of it oh, um, lisa. tonight two, those are two crazy bitches you should see together yes, yeah. sure. we're gonna have a really good time tonight i'm in sioux falls south dakota tomorrow night which is june 30th i'm gonna be in omaha nebraska and then the first and second of july fort collins colorado the third of july i'll be in boulder colorado and then i'm spending uh the fourth of july in las vegas at lorenzo lamas's house mm-hmm. so um come hang out with me at those shows or come to Lorenzo Lamas's house because why the fuck not <laughs> you're gonna yeah spread uh find us like gr- a ground zero for uh the magic, magic mic. Mic. yeah I'm doing oh, some yeah. recon work oh, yeah great. I'm definitely gonna get some recon work in so okay. it'll be good um also everybody uh we have a lady to lady Facebook group now oh yes um we have a fan page already uh but if you want to join the lady to lady Facebook group you guys can connect yeah, yeah, it's it more it's a more easy way for you to like connect with other listeners to the show. Mm-hmm. Easy for us to post individual stuff. Yeah, uh, so go on there. We'll be writing a lot of dumb crap, probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Control us if if you must. And if you haven't, if you Please didn't hear don't. in the last yeah. episode, we um we're in the process of kind of replacing our theme songs because we're trying to do non copyrighted music. Mm-hmm. So if you want to send us a cover of one of our theme songs, that would be awesome. Go listen to our old ones at SoundCloud.com slash Lady Dash to Dash Lady. And listen, you probably know them by heart, but you know, yeah. Go check them out. Send us a cover, and we'll play them. Play yeah. it on the recorder, or the harp, or you know, whatever you want to do. Do you? Yeah, but us. you do. You. Yeah. Yes. I I want to hear your talents. Please. Yeah. We had we had a garage rock cover version of the theme song was was super fun. And oh, yeah. yeah. You know, so good. The record your favorite version of Lady Problems or whichever one you want to send. Mm-hmm. Please. Yeah. Um, as always, we have a fourth lady with us. Very uh, excited. This week, we have magician, a voiceover actress, and the creator of Misty Lee Cosmetics, Misty Lee. Hey, guys. How you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Do the people at home know that you choreographed the theme songs and how intense the choreography is? Um, it's been commented on a yeah, few times. Yeah. Thing. Definitely out of yeah. breath, yeah, yeah after, uh, yeah. after yeah. that big song and dance That's, that's like a big deal because you guys are going to choreograph whatever mm-hmm. they turn in, so they should turn in their... Yeah, best oh, work yeah. for you. If you have dance moves that go with your theme song, yeah, yeah. please send us a diagram as well. We a like chart. learning yeah. dances. I would say that we're like abnormally choreographic. You really are. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are built for that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, that's all I know about like if I ever get married is I just want like a lot of choreo. Yes. Like, Without a doubt. That's all I care about is the yes. choreography. And, that's the and if you do it in a church, like the priest will do it for you. Like he'll just get the whole audience started, you know, like yeah. you start with a small wave. It'll yeah. have to be like a Joe Manganiello priest, like a Magic Mike priest. Totally. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Rips off the frock. <laughs> oh, okay. yes. please. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can just see Sean <laughs> at this wedding, just grumbling in a corner. Aww. Aww. Sean. The, the, yeah, no, no. The, gr- <laughs> the groom. He'll, he'll be wearing a. He'll be wearing like a, an eagle's thong, so it's fine. It's all, yes. That's the compromise, right? Yeah. I would just love to see him like sadly <laughs> open a tearaway tuxedo. Oh, <laughs> and God. just gently sets it on the floor. Yeah. Roll it just takes two yeah. steps away, folds his hands, and waits. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, it's gonna be His beautiful. Special day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His special day. Yes. 
second lead. <laughs> yes. That's what happens when you're the second lead. Exactly. <laughs> Get used to it, She's baby. laughing a little too hard, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. I mean, we all know how this okay. curtain call is going to go. Yeah, you know? totally. <laughs> Pin spot. Yeah. Don't need to see the rest of them. It's my day. Yeah. <laughs> Bridezilla. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. <laughs> you think I'd be a Bridezilla? No. Um, no. I don't, she'd be no. chill. You, yeah. you think. You would just want to have as much fun as possible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty, mm-hmm. Plus, like, I'm used to, like, production and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't actually freak out. You're not. I've been here for, like, 10 minutes, and you're not micromanaging at all. Thank either. you. No, no, So, no, that's, I think you're going to be fine. Thank as you. long as somebody yeah. doesn't, like, uh, fuck up your oil change the day before your wedding. Yes. <laughs> In which case, then you could go full Bridezilla. It is uh, possible to piss me off. <laughs> Never oh, yeah. Go full we, didn't hear, yes. we need to hear the story. Tess has had a really intense week, and it's been really. <laughs> With an oil change? How exactly. does that get dramatic? <laughs> Just that is wait. A wonderful question. <laughs> did, you, did you like that lead in? Because it was completely legit. Like I was, I was really, really trying to go. How do I ask her an open-ended question to get her talking? Thank you. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, so, so how does an oil change get dramatic? Well, so it all started out when the uh, airbag light was on in my car. Shit. And so I get free oil changes with my service plan. Yeah. So I thought, hey. I'll go get an oil change, and then I'll ask them, hey, can you just check out why the airbag light is on and let me know? Mm-hmm. Twofer. Twofer. Should be in and out in two hours, right? 30 minutes. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Put that shit on the computer, get the diagnostic code, code, change my oil while you're running that, and then we're done. Thank you. And I have a brother who knows about cars, so I yeah. walked in there and they go, uh, there's a $100 diagnostic fee. I go, actually, uh-uh. why don't you tell me what code it's throwing? Diagnostic fee, mm-hmm. look at you. Mm-hmm. You don't know how to spell could have. You're not diagnosing shit. You <laughs> right. know what I mean? Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, okay, I'm not paying that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I go, I had a really bad experience last time. Like, I'm not paying that. You're going to tell me what the code is doing. Then I'm going to go to my honest mechanic and I'm going to get it. Totally. Fixed. So the guy goes, okay, 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 okay. We'll, we'll waive the diagnostic fee. I go, okay. Oh, how nice. Yeah, how Yes, sweet. you will. If you can yeah. just do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, <laughs> thank you for waiving the fee it takes to plug this in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at a screen. And turn on the car. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Which I That's literally all, know they can do at Pat Boys. Do. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not, totally. And I, I, you know, I'm defensive about it because I'm a woman. I'm like, not, I'm a woman. I'm not an idiot. You know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I go harumphing off and I go up to Starbucks to work. And so as I'm working at Starbucks. Oh, this wasn't the day of the. The, the cockroach. No, 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 no. No, that okay. was years okay, ago. Okay, 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 okay. Years ago. Before we started Sorry. recording, I regaled everyone with the tale of the time my cockroach fell out of my wallet at Starbucks <laughs> in front of the barista. Okay. <laughs> so this is a different <laughs> Starbucks incident. I'm just sitting there, headphones on, mm-hmm. working on my laptop. Some fucking asshat just taps me on the shoulder and goes, and I take my headphones off and I just shoot him daggers and he goes, you look like a helicopter pilot. What? That's- and I and I just pick a blind? What does that even look like? Like he was trying to hit me, hit, hit on me because he said that my headphones look like a, hi- a helicopter pilot. That's his opening line. That was his opening line. That's a lot. I thought he was gonna be like, "You look like a helicopter pilot because because you're descending on my heart." Yeah, no, yeah. no. Totally. Yeah. it wasn't even that. It wasn't even <laughs> like that cute. Line. Not even like that. That would be cute, but it, it right. was like immediately predatory. Oh, and like, uh. so I try to ignore him, and I just keep my headphones on, and he keeps tapping on the shoulder and trying to touch me. So I'm like, "This is hell. I have to go anyway." Then I stand up to put my stuff away, and some guy who has like, you know, like you, you just can't trust like a white guy. With a red face, totally. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Just like a drunk, like a drunk, like face? just a drunken, but like also like just got out of jail. Kind why of why you so just... winded, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you're a little from. bit angry. Yeah. 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 Blood yeah. pressure's up, and you don't know why. And sweaty, yeah, yeah. but it's air conditioned inside. No. Yeah. 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 Too much. So that no, one no. of those numbers walks up. I'm literally have ass fuck helicopter motherfucker behind me, mm-hmm. and then just out of jail comes up and blocks my path mm-hmm. as I'm trying to pack up my backpack, and they're literally on either sides of me harassing me. Super. It's. 12 o'clock. What did Red middle. Face Guy do? Red Face Guy was, you know, what are you doing? What are you listening to? Didn't, and I'm just like, I don't want to talk to either. Like, please. And like, it yeah. takes me a while to put my shit in my backpack and I'm just trying to ignore them. And they're... then the first guy follows me out of Starbucks. Oh my God. Gets mm-hmm. in his car. And at that time, I have like an MRI I have to get this week. So I'm trying to schedule my MRI. And this guy's slowly driving next to me while I'm trying, and I like can't pay attention. So finally I tell my doctor's office, I'm like, I have to call you back. And I just turn and I'm like, you're making me feel very unsafe. Please leave me the fuck alone. Good for you. And I had to straight up say that. So then I'm like, just already having the worst day. Then I had to go hide out in the local library. You know what's bad when you're hiding out in the library? <laughs> because the Starbucks got too creepy, you know? <laughs> so, so I spend, literally my car was supposed to take two hours and I'm just, I had work to do, so I'm in a public library. I don't even notice how much time has passed. And then I look at my phone, and it's nearly the end of the business day. Mm -hmm. What? And I go, Jesus fucking Christ. So I walk back over to the dealership, and the guy goes, oh, I I was just going to call you. Yeah, your car's car's ready. You were just going to call me? Yeah. (laughs) Three hours ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So the guy brings my car out. I'm just like, I've already had the worst day. I'm like, thank you. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I get uh, in my car. I get on the freeway, and as I'm driving home, 
it, my car starts feeling like it's going to stall what? for no reason. Why? Mind you, I went in for a motherfucking oil change. Yes. Yeah. Oh oil change. Right. What's slipping? Is it? Right. Is it, was it, some, of... it was something with the transmission. It felt like it was just like idling weird. Like it okay. was like in oh, first geez, gear, it yeah. just did, felt like it was going to stall. Did they maybe start to do a fluid change on your transmission? Maybe. Was it too low? Okay. Okay. Some ass fuckery happened. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Indeed. So I call, I call <laughs> and so I pull off the road because my check engine light is on and my car is acting weird. My car was fine when i dropped it off yeah, yeah. of course yeah. and so i call and the dealership is closed and of like you've got to be fucking kidding me yeah so the guy ass fuck had given me his private cell phone number which was huge mistake <laughs> big mistake, <laughs> big mistake. <laughs> and so oh, what a mistake and so i text him and i'm like listen dude i'm like my car is acting weird my check engine light is on he goes oh yeah that's a that's a fuel plate that we recommended last time you were in here i go no it is not Mm-mm. my check engine light was not on no and it's it's it feels like it's stalling in first gear and uh, and so he goes, okay, okay, okay. Uh, bring it in tomorrow. And I'm like, I'm not bringing it in. I don't have time You're, for this. Yeah, I don't. I came in. This was so supposed to be a quick again. errand. I can't have my whole week just be derailed. Yeah. So he had to have a tow truck come here and Good. tow my. Yeah. He tows my car to the dealership. Again, this is now day two. I'm thinking day two, you're going to figure out what you didn't screw on right mm-hmm. when I needed my fucking oil changed. Day two, again, I work from home, so I'm being patient. Yeah. I'm kind of broke. I'm like, this is good. This is an excuse. I'm trying to be zen about it, you mm-hmm, know? Mm-hmm. So the end of it, it starts to be the end of day two. And then I text the guy, I'm like, what's up with the car? Mm-hmm. Nothing, nothing. Call him, nothing on the extension. Then at 5 30 p.m., <laughs> at 5 30 p.m., he texts me, not a question, but a sentence. I'm going to have to keep your car another day. No, no. I'm going to have to keep your car another day. How? Mind you, I had a show in the valley that night. <laughs> Luckily, uh, then you're gonna need to like send me like a horror story. <laughs> I <laughs> jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> and so so I luckily I had a friend who I could hitch a ride with to the show. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, no freaking out, you know. Mm-hmm. This is now two motherfucking days I've been out of my yeah. car. I go through that. For Friday, an oil change. For an oil change. Mm-hmm. Friday, nothing. I work, 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 noon. I'm like, what's the status of the car? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I haven't then, even looked at it yet. Is yeah, the status? Yeah, of the car. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then at 4 p.m., he goes, the "Car's about to go in the wash." I said, "Great. Let me know when you're going to tow it back here." Did you fix it though? I get no. It was kind of clean right. when I brought it in. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Like right. You're not right, a this priority. Is, this is my only car. And how about a uh, hey? Here's what we fucked up. Yeah. And that's right. what I texted him. I said, "Do you mind telling me?" What you did to my car? Yeah. I yeah. think that's a fair question. Yeah. yeah. And so, again, I've, I've been, I think, like, considering pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Really. Mm-hmm. I think I've been pretty cool. I almost, like, want to read. <laughs> exactly what went down. She's bringing this up on her phone. Like, yeah. She's so angry right now. She's oh, got the unlock code done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got the screenshots of this. Yeah. Combo. These texts yeah. are really <laughs> a beautiful. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay. So, so he goes, okay, I can't tow it. I can't tow it to you. Um, I can't tow it to your house. You will have to pick up. Uh, how, how? how? Are you gonna send me an Uber? A yeah. Taxi? yeah. How? Yeah. You how? cover a taxi again? Yeah. yeah. So uh, and so and so I just write, "You've got to be kidding me." Mm-hmm. Period. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Then, then oh, I write, this she throws down. This is where she throws down. <laughs> not quite yeah, yeah. yet. Oh, go, okay, okay. Please find a way to get that car home. I've been very patient and carless for three days now because of an error on your part. Nothing. Nothing. Then he says, "I cannot do that." Two separate words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I say, "This is absolutely unacceptable." <laughs> And then he goes, sorry, but I've taken care of everything that you asked me to do. But there are some things I can't do. And then I say, my car is gone because of your dealership's error. Then a separate text, this has been a huge inconvenience for me. <laughs> then he says, I understand, but I can only do, only do so much. Only do you understand? And then I say, please just take care of it. I'm giving him so many. Yeah, I'm giving him so many chances. Nor has he answered your question. Right. What did you do to my car? What did you do to my motherfucking car? He has not answered you. Right. Then he goes, please just take care. And I and I say, please just take care of it. This is negligence. And he goes, I can't take your car. And that's when I was like, take take it. I can't. I didn't say you could have it. I I, I didn't want you to have it. I never wanted you to have it in the first place. I'm not happy about the fact that I need my car towed back to me after not having it for three days. How far away is it? Too it's 14 miles. Yeah. Okay. But you know, I can't Uber. I'm not going to Uber out to Bumfuck. No. 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 Right. Right. Mm -hmm. What dealership is this? Tell well, them. I won't say because why? Oh, did they make okay. promises right. have been made? Yeah, right. this is my oh, test. Yeah, here we go. This is my right. test. All right, throws down. And so I, I, I'm like so furious. I'm just sitting in my apartment, and then like all of a sudden, just like my inner Iago takes over, <laughs> and like I swear my eyes just went like pure black mm-hmm. with rage. And mm-hmm. he said, "I would like to see a photograph of that." <laughs> I said. I am a blogger <laughs> <laughs> with substantial following and would rather deal with just between you and I, but I'll have to warn the public about the service at blank dealership. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you don't do something about this ASAP. That's one text. One text. And then I say, get that car here. Separate girl. text. And then the third text, figure it out. <laughs> girl. <laughs> Just with periods in between those words. Periods I in between. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. she really did. There it is. Oh, no, no, no. Your dot. It dot. Out. Yeah. And Done. So fuck around. Fifteen minutes goes by, and then I get a text from him that says, "I'm going to bring you the car myself." That's how you should. Yeah. And the blogger car Thank worked. you. After he dropped it off, I got another text that said. So if you blog, please be nice to me. And then another text that said, no. so we're good, right? <laughs> did he are... ever tell you what he did? No. I, I still don't know. I Those still are some know. last words. If you blog, <laughs> be nice to me. It was just like. I would never be nice to you, you ass. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess he did I the bit. No. Do not give him any leeway. He did the bare minimum that was acceptable and still hasn't answered your question. I know. I still don't know what Yeah, the how hell? mysterious. What the right? fuck did they do? So it's absurd. Isn't yeah. that absolutely absurd? It really is. I just said it was absurd. <laughs> <laughs> did I, I stutter? Know, I know. I know. No, I just... It, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's like, like I, know. I, I just love the blogger draw. It's so funny that that's blogger what scared him. So right. And like it was like so funny that, that that's what my brain went to of like, okay. But it's what? true though. Like these <laughs> days that could fucking ru- you know. Yeah, and I kind of know that and I was yeah. like like I said, I very much like Tony Soprano to him. I was like, I'd like to do this. Let's just yeah. I. But well, it's you became a South Park episode. Like you became the like Yelp episode of South Park in yeah, the right, best way. Right. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it. I like to imagine now there's like a big picture of Tess with like blogger like at, yeah. the, at the dealership, just like above the front. Like door. your wanted poster, yes. wanted dead or alive blogger. They've got a whole cork board full of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, do you think top that bloggers? He, I'm just surprised that he knew what a blogger was. Yeah, well, he certainly can't spell it. No, yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> There's so much stuff in that one. <laughs> blogger. I know. No, I think he did actually misspell blogger. Oh. I think he said, "If you blog about me, B L O G G." Yeah. Please be nice. Yeah, yeah. But. Well, that makes perfect sense because it's got an er in the end of the word. I mean, you know, that would be <laughs> yeah. that would be the verb that would go with that. Sure. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He was just kind of grasping. Oh man. man. So, but it, the important thing is, I got my way from that being kinda. Yeah. Kind of. I'm glad you're satisfied. Have you ever? But I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Misty's gonna I'm roll back up mad. in there. I thought that I had, like had a victory, but you're making me realize that like you yeah, no no, no you had a victory. It's a victory. You had a victory. You got him to rise above mm-hmm. his horrible service mm-hmm. and give you C service. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah, You're and right. that is a victory. Yeah, and so I'm you. not discrediting your victory, and thank I ch- you. I think you should feel very good thank and very you. triumphant about what you accomplished. However, he's still a piece of shit. Absolutely, Definitely. <laughs> and so that's where we are. Absolutely. I have a question: Have you ever been wronged by a service person, and have you ever dropped a like, "I'm a magician, motherfucker," <laughs> or like, "I speak to the dead, I will fuck with you"? <laughs> like that is like blogger times 10 I feel like like that you know is what? also I think, I think dropping it is influence and I will tell you I was wronged really really bad by Enterprise Rent-A-Car oh, and shit. I will tell you what happened yeah, it yeah. actually has everything to do with magic uh-huh. uh, we were rehearsing I know Perfect. it sounds so dumb we were rehearsing a big sawing a lady in half trick and that uh-huh. it has a saw that goes with the sawing and lady and it's not even it's a saw an audience member in half trick okay yeah. and the saw is really important it's mm-hmm. a little table with a little thing that goes over their middle to hide the gross mm-hmm. you know right. Really, it's it, you know, but yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, and then a huge bow saw, and yeah. I'm talking like three and a half feet long. It's yeah. a big effing bow saw. It's stage size, mm-hmm. so we're rehearsing it, and we go, you know, I pack everything, unpack it, put it all away. We've rehearsed it, successful rehearsal, and I go take back the rental car. And the next day, I or the next, it was next two to two or three days later, I was packing up. We have Wednesday rehearsals and Friday rehearsals. Friday, I'm packing everything, and I can't, I can't find the saw, and I'm like, where the hell's the saw? So I say, okay, we're going to rehearse something else. I'll look for this thing. I must have lost it. Hmm. Short, so, and I'll, I could go through the whole looking for the saw thing, but the bottom line is I'd left it in the car. Right. At least I thought I did. Yeah. So I called Enterprise Rental Car, and I said, I think I left this giant saw. Did you guys happen upon that? <laughs> did, you, no? did you happen to see a no? giant bow saw? <laughs> no, we didn't, they said. No, hmm. we didn't. So I tore my life apart oh, i no. was up in my attic which is absurd yeah. it was just i mean it was like i was looking <laughs> oh, God, for it sure. everywhere because I when pulled... you panic like that you even though you would never keep it 
in with your Christmas decorations. I know, but I have to know it isn't in there. And it's a $3,000 prop. I mean, this is not just some piece of shit wood that I bought at Home Depot. This was custom made to fit into all the little things that go on that table. It it matches. I can't do this trick without this saw. And so this is a big deal. No, they haven't seen it. So I I call the dance studio where we rehearse. I'm going through my trailer. I'm looking Mm -hmm. everywhere. I've got people over pulling things out of the garage oh and going through everything. I mean, no. I, it turned my life oh upside my down God. for about two and a half what weeks. A nightmare. Oh my God. So I call Enterprise again because I'm like, there's nowhere else that it could be. I yeah. must have left it in the car. Maybe they just didn't realize it. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I call Enterprise again and I get a different person. Oh no. And she says, yeah, I, I think <gasps> I saw me. one of those. That, uh, let me go. It's not in here, but hold on. Let me go ask in the car wash. And I'm like, in the what? Where now? What? What? Why would the car? Okay, okay, I'll wait. And she comes back and says, "You know what? We have it." <sighs> oh my gosh! And I said, "I'm on my way." Yeah. And I'm yeah. so excited, yeah. and I get there. Oh no! And I said, "Where is it?" And she goes, "Oh, hold on, I'll go get it." Oh my god! And I followed her, and apparently wasn't supposed to, because. <laughs> oh no! I go out. Oh no! And some motherfucker. Leave no. it if you have to, but that's no, exactly no, 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 no. as much as you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Had figured out how to take this thing apart. <gasps> oh my god! And had taken it apart and put it back together on a pipe that came out of the wall and went down in the shape of an L into the floor. What? Oh. So here is my three thousand dollars saw, stolen effectively oh, yeah. because they yeah. lied about not having it. Yeah. And this person saw it in the back of the car undid it, opened it, and magically attached it to this pipe so it looks like it is impossibly attached to the pipe. My metal and wood saw on the floor of the car wash at Enterprise. So not only did they steal it, but they washed it every day. It is metal and wood and $3,000. Oh, no. Why did they do that? Why did they put it in there? Because because thief. (laughs) Is yeah. why. No because shit. that person decided mm-hmm. that he thought it was cool and he deserved to have that thing. Right. And so and instead that also of means being honest, every day, multiple people were not only we're looking seeing at it, that but thing. having a laugh at and it. And saying, what, yeah, yeah. where did that come yeah, from? Yeah, when you come yeah. to work and be like, oh, hey, what's up with the giant bows? <laughs> And so, oh, and and and, and, and no, no, so, no, no, no. I contacted Enterprise, the management. I said, yeah. "I want to speak <laughs> with the manager." Yeah, and yeah. she said, "You know, you left it in the back of the car, which technically makes it ours." <gasps> no. And I said, oh. "I am not going to get violent, and you're welcome." Yeah. <laughs> but I will tell you that the level of larceny yeah. is grand theft. And she went. Sorry, there's a clause. And I said, it does not rise above blatant burglary. Uh-oh. No. It does not. No. And I said, I will call corporate. And short story, shortening, shortening, shortening the mm-hmm. story, they wrote me a check for $3,000. Hell I did yeah. not have to sign an NDA. And they fought me every step of the way. They tried to give me $1,000. They tried to tell me it was my fault. They tried to give me 1500 They tried to tell me I didn't deserve it. They tried to tell me the saw didn't cost that. They tried to tell me to have the saw repaired. Oh, can we please? Let's yeah. just have the saw fixed right, that you right, washed right. Yeah. every day. Because no one will see that shit from stage. It's rusted and moldy, but whatever. I mean, that's what I deserve for leaving it in the back of your car because you can't be trusted. So, yes. Wow. But I didn't have to throw down. Okay. I fought with justice. (laughs) And I persevered. Hell yeah, you did. And I hate Enterprise Rent-A-Car, and I will tell everyone to never work with them ever. (laughs) And if you do, don't leave anything in the car because then they think they own it. And I will tell you, it is a side business for a lot of people. That's insane. I can't believe that that's a fucking cause. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, but the clause is, it, it's not okay. It does yeah. not give them permission to steal. It can't be legal. Yeah. Well, and like, well, I'm sure it's enough to like cover them unless you like really push, push. And, well, and, and I don't know if it was a cell phone. I think they would have just lied. Yeah. But the fact that it was this <coughs> unmistakable and it was blatant. Yeah. I mean, it was on the floor of their car wash. Someone had dicked around with it and yeah. attached it to a pipe <sighs> instead of calling me. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's how dishonest. Well, so- Someone's yeah, it's gonna not... fucking die. Like, yeah, that's like, like hey, we have a rusty saw in the corner. Like, <laughs> Does that what? clause over? Like, is it better than OSHA? Like, what the fuck? You yes. guys have a saw. And like the thing that it's like any of these situations. What really drives me crazy is like, yeah, here's the thing. I'm more stubborn than you. I'm yeah. going to mm-hmm. win. Yeah, oh, I'm a Taurus. Make, let's take oh. care of this. <laughs> you have no idea. You know what I mean? Like, let's take care of this while I'm being nice. Why did you push me to yeah. this? And like, so, <laughs> what, what the, I think the only reason I actually did get justice going back to your original mm-hmm. question yeah. was because my husband has 50,000 followers on Twitter. Oh. And he said, Enterprise, 
I'm going to yeah. say this once. Yeah. Do the right thing. And then he hashtagged stole my wife's stuff. <laughs> You know, and I mean, yeah, he yeah. was like, and and other people were joining in and going, yeah, yeah. "Hey, Enterprise!" and all, and like the Twitter people mm. and Enterprise are going to follow us, and we'll DM you. And I said, "I'm not following you on Twitter. Mm-mm. That's not going to be a thing. You're going to write me a check and have corporate call me because we're yeah. getting on the phone." And they would call me and try to get me riled up, and I stayed so calm through the whole thing. And I said, "Let me tell you exactly what happened." And mm-hmm. it would always be a new person who was, "Oh, I'm just new. I'm in." And, mm-hmm. yeah. and finally, I went, and it was so unceremonious. He just handed me a check, and mm-hmm. I thought. You're not going to have me sign a paper? Okay, I'm going to tell the world. <laughs> and their attitude is, well, we did the right thing. And my attitude is, you wasted my time. Yeah, that's right. And you time stole is shit from me. Yes. You're yeah. doing the and right- they were like, well, the car wash is vendors, and we don't have control over the vendors. And I said, I don't have control over the vendors. Uh-uh. If I can have the car washed and bring it in and that's acceptable to you, mm-hmm. then that's okay. But if you're not going to give me, the customer, control of your people that you've brought in yeah. and blame your vendors for liability, we're not playing that game. You know, and so it was like this very systematic. And if I had not persevered, I felt so sorry for people that a are not as mean as me, yeah, and b are a little more fearful than me because yeah. I ain't afraid. Mm-hmm. Y'all are wrong, and, and you assholes. Is, you should yeah. have to be. Why should you be afraid of? It's your. It's but a lot so of people right. are it's because a, a they, oh, I signed a. Yeah. I if I oh bullshit, you mm-hmm. stole my stuff, and that wasn't in the contract. Oh man, we can steal your crap. Get, yeah, oh, no, uh-uh. no, that's not a thing. Bring in the car wash, and they said, well, we can't get the car wash guy yeah you know like there, so there wasn't really justice but i got them to pay what they owed yeah right, you know right, and i was I'm, you think i'm still angry and i'm so oh. <laughs> well those are the kind of things they fester and then they pop yes. back up and you're just like <sighs> yeah there are when you people right wrong you the they moment. really it really like gets back up in for there. some reason especially when it's a corporation like being yeah. i would much rather oh, yeah. be wrong well, than a lover and that's than a corporation. when like i totally agree that yeah, yeah. like the internet works for shaming when it's a corporation because it's yes. like fuck you everyone mm-hmm. you know and that's... every once in a while i'll just tweet by the way enterprise did this everybody yes. yeah just, just to just to do it good i mean we can go to break on this but I, uh, i'll just use this as an opportunity to say fuck you anthem blue cross for the- <laughs> <laughs> oh. we'll be back we'll be back, we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> what happened and shazam we're there yes <laughs> jazz hands that yes. one ends in jazz hands <laughs> We have a we have a dance teacher that we like to go to. Uh, yeah, that that's like kind of how. Oh, so shablam and shablam, shablam, mm-hmm. and shablam. You're and there. shablam. You're there. Yeah, it's it's very fossy. Exactly. That, one, yeah. that yes. break is yes. very very fossy inspired. I can tell the popping and jerking and thank you. The oh, ladies yeah. are in really good shape. Thank you thank so much. Yeah, you move. Oh You're really God, sexy. God. Yeah, good for Appreciate you. It. We should do a cell block tango sometime. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. in. Pop. <laughs> Cicero. Squish. Lip shits. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Cicero. <laughs> Lip shits. Oh, I love that show. That might be one of my favorite musicals. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just the dancing is so sexy. Oh, everything about it is sexy. Which and even in the movie, it's um, Chicago. Chicago. It's yeah. not a single hot dog in the whole musical. Don't believe it. <laughs> Where's your sweet beef? I want to be on. eating a Chicago dog while I'm watching Chicago, <laughs> listening to the band Chicago. The they only complain. bean I see is when they go like this. Hey. <laughs> I just made a leg opening yep. thing. Because, uh-huh. you know, we're in the toilet you guys think about back it. from break. They don't, they don't complain about the Cubs once in that musical. That's I right. don't believe it. <laughs> Where's the bears? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's rampant like crime though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. True. There it is. That's there true. it is. That's true. Murder. Uh-huh. Yeah. There it is. It all checks out. <laughs> um, but so, yeah. Missy, you just released a, a cosmetics line. Yeah. Misty Lee Cosmetics. Get it. And it's cruelty cool. free, a uh, vegan. Tell us about. Yeah, it's more it. spa stuff than cosmetics, so I should oh, probably cool. change okay. my website, you know. But it's like whatever. It's it's bath salts and it's body scrubs and mm. it's shower lotion and ha- and it's also soaps and lo- and it's just uh, scented oils, all kinds of stuff. Cool. And the Magic Castle has decided to carry them because oh. they're all magic themed, you know. So like the lemon vanilla is called Abracadabra, and then there's a chai called oh, Sim cool. Salabim. And it, cute. It's, yeah, well, you know, magic doesn't. It pays pretty well, but it doesn't pay well enough to satisfy me. Right. So we're working. <laughs> you love you. Okay. Hey, yes. listen, you know. It's a perfect way to say it. I love yeah. that. So I'm looking at licensing and it was like, okay, yeah. so I'm going to start from grassroots and what do I already do? And mm-hmm. I had a really good friend named Carol Ann Susie who taught me how to make soap before she croaked. She did two things. She taught me how to read the tarot and she taught me how to, 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 to do soap. Mm-hmm. I'm try- I want to learn. I will teach you. It's super you know? easy. Totally. Oh, it's so easy. As long as you, it's just all about the other person. And as long as you can, you know, like as long as you can remove your own bullshit from the card spread and just talk to them, you can instinctively know what they need because I am not a psychic. I but just tell people. 
it for yourself, simple... though? Yeah, I do animal medicine cards for myself, which okay. is like a Native American card mm. set with animals on them, and they're all connected to Native American stories. Hmm. And so it's Native American wisdom. And so like if I'm like really ugh, upset about something, I'll turn them over, and even if they're not super accurate, they almost always offer a different perspective into whatever I'm going through. Interesting. By the way, one of the th things I did notice in the past couple of minutes since I've been sitting here is there's a dick drawn on the table right yes. in front of me, and it makes me really happy. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> I, just, I just want to put that out there. It was a little distracting, and I was like talking about reading the symbols, and I'm like, let me read the symbol on the table. The uh -huh. elephant in the yeah, table. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So um, it's hysterical. You guys are so funny. Uh, uh, but anyway, so yes, I do read tarot. I can absolutely teach you how to do it. You just pay wow. attention to the signs and symbols. You don't have to be a psychic because it's more for me anyway and maybe I approach it differently but it seems like it's more glorified life coaching with these with a visual aid yeah right. you know and it seems to be totally and that's mm -hmm. and that for me is a very honest way of reading it's how I was taught in Carol Ann the person who taught me mm -hmm. is was really really good at it like spot on because hmm. she was very intuitive and observant about what you needed in life and she didn't put her opinions in she yeah. just read what the symbols on the cards were and how they would apply and say you know this could be this or that and you tell me if I'm mm -hmm. wrong but here's what this means mm -hmm. how does that apply to you and mm -hmm. so it was more of a communication and an open honest sharing but she was so good at it it, yeah, that people would follow her out of venues. And I actually have a recording of her in a blog that I wrote about this. And a lady said, I, I need to see you. You're so good. And I need readings, which is the danger because people do this all the time. Right. And yeah. she turned around and said, this is recreational, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carol Ann, I love her. Just, oh, she was Mrs. <laughs> Wallowitz on the Big Bang Theory. Howard! That was her. Oh, oh cool. Yeah, she was one of my best friends in the world. But oh. she taught me how to do that. Mm -hmm. And she taught me how to make soap. And she also taught me that it doesn't matter what you book in the industry. If you're working, you're fucking lucky. Yeah. And she gave me this really great perspective. She said, look, you're going to work mm -hmm. because you've got a great attitude and you're good at what you do. Yeah. yeah. And she said, and those two things are going to give you a long career. You're going to be famous. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She said, that depends on your marketing and it depends on if what the product that you're putting out there hits. And she said, but the bottom line is you're a widget mm -hmm. and you're selling a widget. And she said, you are now a salesperson, but the product is you. And she said, remove your ego, remove your bullshit mm -hmm. and you're going to keep working. And she said, and None of it's important. Yeah. And she said, and if you can keep all of that in mind, you're going to be just fine. And right after telling me all that shit, she left me. And I wish I had way more time with her. Oh, wow. But I had enough. And she changed my whole world. So going back wow. to the cosmetics line that you were asking about. <laughs> I mean, yes. yeah, I know. She was rad. She was just yeah. one of the most amazing human beings I've ever I've ever had the, the pleasure of getting to know. She was an amazing broad. That's really and cool. And taught me so much. Um, How but did you meet her? At a, vo <laughs> at a voiceover session, yeah. uh, we were in a workshop because I do I do voiceover during the day and magic at night. Because who doesn't love turning tricks in the evening? But <laughs> 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 I'm ching. Give me a room shot. So, but anyway, I was sitting in this thing, and and she was across the room, and she seemed like she was very effervescent. She was very friendly, but she had kind of a gruff. Yeah. exterior you know she's this little plump gorgeous thing with this big frizzy hair and a butterfly clip and she's just kind of mean yeah. and she talks like this and she actually mm -hmm. doesn't she has a very little musicality which makes her impossible to to impress you know, do an impression of yeah, her yeah. but um, she was wonderful and she's very bold which I find very appealing and we're going around the room saying our name and saying mm -hmm. what we do and I get to myself and I say my, ma my name is Misty Lee and she goes Misty Lee what are you a stripper <laughs> <laughs> and I I said, no, but I do turn tricks. And she said, oh, I like you. And she moved her seat and sat next Aww, to me. And, awesome. so that, and so that was open. And she was like, I, you're a breath of fresh air. She said, this is unusual. You're candor. She's like, you're like me, but you're gentle. And I'm like, I'm not gentle. And she's like, no, no, you're gentler than me. And that's true, because mm -hmm. I was. But uh, she was just magnificent. And I had no idea I was getting a mentor that day. You know, and she was just so bold and so honest. And she's like, here's your fucking problem. And it was so nice to have somebody be like that we She's all like, need those people totally. i feel like it's it's we so uh, it's hard here in la and in, in in the scene that we do everyone's you know we're all very sensitive mm -hmm. so it's like everyone mm -hmm. gets scared of the bullshit getting called out yep. and like yeah i really admire somebody who'll just do that and you yeah. need that we all need well that. there's a fearlessness there and when yeah. the fearlessness is paired with absolute love mm -hmm. it really makes you empowered that's and a true mentor yeah, like someone yes. will call you out on your shit, but it's all coming from like a place absolutely. Of love. Yeah, and she yeah. she wasn't doing it to be mean. She wasn't doing it because her ego needed it. No. She was doing it to legit help me, and because she saw something there, and she saw bullshit there, and she's like, "Get rid of this bullshit, and this is holding yeah. you back, and you're doing this, and you're doing that," and and always reminded me that none of this was that important, mm -hmm. especially not me. 
You know, yeah. it's, you're not that influential. You just really kind of don't matter. So have some fun. Look what we're doing. You know, whenever I get nervous at the Magic Castle and I'm getting ready to go in and do a seance, I'm like, you are a grown woman (laughs) about to do a fake ghost show for a group of strangers in a Magic Castle. Can we just be okay? Like, my God, that's ridiculous. And it's it's like, someone's going to give you money. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Whatever. You know, so she really reminded me to pull the crap out of it because we can get so weighed down with our own bullshit. And oh, my God. Yeah. You guys all do improv because I read about you. You're all UCB kids, right? We do. We're actually stand ups, but our show is that you stand up is even harder because you're out there with your pants off and everybody's inspecting you, your genitals. (laughs) I mean, like, that's what it feels like. So it's really impossible. And you're like, please laugh. I mean, it's funny, right? And they're like, it's not the funniest thing I've ever seen. And you're like, then I'm just here naked and it's awkward now, you know? And I mean, it's it's, it's like, you're the one who decided to get naked, bitch. Totally. (laughs) Exactly. They're like, they're all sitting there judging you. And you're like, please, you know, and, and so there's this part of you that's like, please like me. Mm-hmm. But the p- more powerful and the less you care, the better you do. You come out and you're like, yeah. I'm taking off my fucking pants. What do you think? And they're like, Wah. yeah, yeah. Because the, the thing that all audiences want is for you to be braver than they can be. Yes. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. And so to be out there to begin with, you guys are so brave. Like, and you have to know that. And then the other thing that Carol Ann would tell you is it's just not that important. Yeah. You know, and even though you're like, oh, my God, I have to eat. I have to pay the bills. And this is what I love. And I hope that I can pay the bills doing it. You will. Or you suck and you should stop. <laughs> yeah. And the and universe will tell you. To... That's so... The universe will tell you. We, I feel like that all the time. I mean, I find myself in these situations where I look around and I'm like, what the fuck is my life? And I just yeah. am so appreciative. Yeah. Like doing a show for Amazing. 12 people in a small room. or Who You cares? know what I mean? It's just like, I feel so lucky to be here in this moment. Yep performing, doing what I love, and surviving. Because those yeah. 12 people that are in that room with you could be anywhere else in the whole world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that night they chose to be boom, boom, with boom. you. That's why I can't stand when I see a performer of any kind be disrespectful to the audience. That's not cool. Yeah, when they act, they don't care. Oh my God. That it's is their like, fear. It's I, I hope I never, stage. ever, ever it's immature. lose mm-hmm. my sense of gratitude for someone listening to what I have to say. Yep. Like to, yeah. that, that is someone showing you so much respect. And just to shit on that... I can't stand when I see performers do that. Yeah, it's like people's time is valuable and they've chosen to give you that amount of time in your yep. life. Like it's a responsibility to be given moments of other people's lives. Yes, yes their time yeah. is finite and they're yes. giving it to you and they could give it to anything else. Mm-hmm. They could be home watching Ghostbusters again, which is a damn good use of time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, but tonight is. they're choosing to be with you and they're never going to get that back. And so yeah. not and and again, Going back to Carol Ann, yes, they did that. Be grateful and know that they're just there to have some fucking fun. Right. Yeah. So take your pants off and run around the stage. I did a show at the Steve Allen Theater with a guy, not, and I don't advise this. <laughs> But Never I did a Steve Allen Theater show with a guy <laughs> that cut a rotisserie chicken in half and duct tape it to his head <laughs> and like ran around the stage, ran <laughs> around the stage know. for like three and a half minutes, which sounds like it was comic genius. Yeah, yeah. And for 30 seconds, maybe. But after two <laughs> oh, and a half a minutes time. of that shit, like three to four minutes, you're going, is he safe? Is he going to fall? <laughs> like, you know, and it was, but that's fearlessness. And he didn't give a shit. Yeah. He was just out there. Now, if he was a responsible performer, he would take that brilliant idea, do it for 30 seconds, and it would lead to something right. else. Or yes. he would have ended his act like that. And as the act who followed him, I was a little pissed, you know, <laughs> because it's just like, and I do this show as a homeless birthday party magician. And I was oh. ready to come out, and I'm like, well, she's homeless. So I followed him out eating the chicken off the floor. <laughs> you know, and I'm That's like, awesome. you're going to do something. But you kind of can't top that. No. You know, and she's a topper. Like, she's she's a, definitely a show ender. She's ridiculous. And she's drunk, and she's doing a kid's mm-hmm. show that she should not be doing. <laughs> and um, I'll let you go. Yeah, next time I do it at the castle, I'll I would you. love oh, to see that. I actually tweeted about it on the way over here, which I may have to delete the tweet. But anyway, yeah. I'll, sh- I'll show you guys. <laughs> yeah. I was like, guys, I think I put my makeup on too fast. And I put a picture <laughs> of myself dressed as her, like, oh, you know? <laughs> So, um, awesome. but anyway, this that, and then the other lady I couldn't follow was somebody who bit the head off a chicken a fake chicken and covered her tits in red glitter blood at a burlesque show and i was like she needs to be the ender like i saw her rehearse and i was like she goes after me i can't Mm -hmm. yeah that is some voodoo that's hysterical it's awesome and i that's a really fearless awesome pasties or no pasties uh, this show was pasties. Okay. Yeah, it, it depends on the venue, but this one was they were pasties. By the way, have have you worn pasties? Do you do burlesque? I don't. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I'll sit and talk about being brave. My clothes stay on. Okay. <laughs> My yeah. girls are almost half naked. 
You know, like, I mean, they're, no, they right, are half right, naked, right. quite literally. Your assistants? But, yeah. Oh, my female yeah. assistants are, as long as they're comfortable with it, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. dressed like whores because they look great. <laughs> I want to introduce her to my sister. Yes. Oh, my God. My sister's a gorgeous sword swallower. Nah. <laughs> nice. She's done some, like, magician assistant work. But, like, oh, she's, she's, she's done burlesque and stuff like that, and she just loves to be naked. Like, she loves to be physically naked the way that I love to be, like, naked on stage, you know? Mm-hmm. But, anyway, she, she's gotten me, like, wanting to get some pasties because her idea is, like, why not pasties all the time? Because when you wear yeah. pasties, you can always flash someone. Okay, but I'm wonder- I feel like you can I- also flash them without it. I know. I, I recently mean, just show my your tits. You get beads I- that way, like that's I- jewelry. <laughs> what does that mean? Jewelry. What does that mean, Tess? I recently decided that I don't care if everyone sees my nipples. Okay. I saw- I mean, I'm wearing okay. a bra right now, but I went out in Highland Park in a t-shirt and no bra the other night, and I was just like, they're nipples. I'm all right with it. That's right. I don't care. If you're not all right with it, I don't care because I'm and all right frankly, with they're probably good ones. They're they look good. pretty good. Thank they you. Look, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, seen them you. under a ghost sheet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So can you corroborate? Are they okay? Yeah, they're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tess has great tips. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they look good from here. Yeah. <laughs> so we're all in favor. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? I'm Those not getting it. I'm not getting it. Okay. Motion is passed. Okay, nip- we should. We need to play some of this game. Oh, Project yeah. nipple freedom. Now that we've been talking with Misty, I'm like, all I want to do is talk to you forever and we'll yeah. talk about everything. Okay, okay we're just gonna game? pick a question. I don't know. Let's do we pick- have time, David. I'm sh- yeah, we got okay. time. We got time for yeah, a few. yeah, yeah. Okay, here's oh, yeah, our. We have okay. Who, what, where, real quick when, one. Who, what, where, when, who, what, where, when, who, what, where, when, who, what, where, when. <laughs> the choreography for that one is very comedic. You guys are jumping through each other's legs, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. One yeah. of them stands up with her legs far apart, and the other two are just like sliding underneath, almost like jitterbug style. And then they yeah. come out with jazz hands. It's always jazz hands. You guys really like that. Yeah, we always like to end on a shablam jazz hands. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How else do you end a dance night? That's how you. That's how you distract people from that you can't actually dance. They look okay. at your fingers. I well, yeah. you've got me, and I'm I'm pretty observant. <laughs> you guys look great. Yeah, and choreography with jazz hands. You end a sketch with a murder. That's just how. Yeah. Yes. I will, I will say that jazz hands, I put too much faith in jazz hands when I uh, was teaching Cedar Citizens aerobics. Like, I didn't have oh. a plan. Can we have a moment for the fact that you did that? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I taught Cedar Citizens aerobics for two years when I was, like, 22. Uh-huh. And no knowledge of senior citizens or aerobics. I was like, that... Perfect. You were the, the perfect candidate. Well, you knew then. people, I mean. It would even <laughs> be better if they had dementia, and so yeah, they yeah. didn't remember that you were their teacher. Like, everything they learned today, they were relearning, like, goldfish. Ultimately, oh, I hey. did get to that point. I mean, the, yeah, eventually, I... It ended up being good at it. That's called job security. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but no, I was like, I, I just told my friends, I was like, the, the school district asked me if I wanted to teach senior citizens aerobics. And I thought, I can't even, senior citizens aerobics. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But I was like, they, uh, and I was like, I, I guess because I kind of look like a jock. Like I, I literally had n- no experience and I thought it would be funny. So I didn't have any kind of a lesson plan and I just brought a disc man with that song Gloria on it. And of I was course like, you did. Just play this and do jazz hands. Mm-hmm. And I did that for like 30 Wait, what seconds. what song Gloria? Gloria. 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 You G-L-O-R-I-A. Know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they spell They're it. saying Gloria there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, good to know. Inic Chelsea what, did, what yeah. did you think they were saying? Oh, I thought you guys were saying something. Okay, I don't know. It's uh, like an anyway. 80s song. She's too yeah. young. She's too young. Same? She's too I young. Don't we know. need to play it. Yeah, Babs, yeah, we'll play it for you. Yeah. But, uh, but no, I literally just thought <laughs> I could like, hide everything with yeah. jazz hands. And like 30 seconds into it, I just panicked. And I had like 60 old people just staring at me. Several of them left the class, walked out in front of me and shook their hands. There was a lot of Persian women in the class. And they started talking and shit about me in Farsi. Whoa. And meanwhile, I was just playing Gloria and just like determinedly screaming out things like, do the farmer. And I like just was saying nouns. and yes. like Yes. Yeah. That's. <laughs> An amazing story. It's beautiful. My favorite I, part is there were old Persian women talking shit about me in Farsi. Oh, it's beautiful. That is, is if that's not on your resume, <laughs> it should be. I hope you do stand up about this. I need to like figure out how to talk about this more. You just that, did. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like in the class, like all the yeah, I would like, I, you know, I was twenty two and they were old, so I'd be like, you guys, I'm serious. Quiet down. I will wait. <gasps> And like I had braces, I had adult braces, oh <laughs> and they would just talk in Farsi and not listen to me. I'm like, I'm serious, guys. We're gonna start weights, and like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're just there to talk too. Like, I oh, yeah. no, yeah. not there it's to like, work you out. Go hang no. out with your friends. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like catch up time. And once I like caught on to that, we had a great class. Like we right. would just eat bunt cake on break, and yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> I love this whole situation. <laughs> Are okay, they okay. We gotta ask oh, a question. Oh, we oh, ask yeah. one, yeah, one question. Question. The last one. I think either the. I think the first one. <laughs> okay. I think the first one. 
Okay. I think I think that the last one. Oh, you I think like. the last one? I don't even know what they are. Let's do. Let's give us a number. Okay. One through five. One okay. through five. Let's do the three. last one. She's a plus three. three. Okay. okay. Oh, do we like five? No, no. three's no. great. Three's, okay, three's three. Great. Three. Oh, it's fine. I'm three's sticking two. with my first choice. Three. Where is the best place to hold a seance? <laughs> the Magic Castle. Oh. <laughs> Next. <laughs> do you want to do two? Okay. 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 Uh, who looks up to you? Who looks up to me? Everyone who's shorter than I am. Damn. Oh. She, we can do I, all these now. She's yeah. Okay, okay. Why do so many magicians have ponytails? Oh, because they just don't know what's good for them. <laughs> oh, that and why do all mentalists have photos for their promo that look like headache medicine ads? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're all... Every fucking one of them that yeah. works with their mind, indicates their mind <laughs> with their middle finger and their thumb. <laughs> Yeah, this if it hurts, tr- why would you do it? Uh, uh, precisely. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, this helps me concentrate. Is that an antenna? Is our hand an antenna? Because last I heard, if you put your thumb on your forehead like that, whoever smelt it dealt it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Why do we do this? One magician actually had the back of his head photoshopped as a bomb. Oh, He's bald. No. Right? My reaction exactly. Oh. I actually am going to start a Tumblr of their yes, shitty promo. Yes, yes. I will not say the link here, but I have the site. <laughs> yes. And I will give it to you and you can link it because I don't yes. want people to know it's me. Maybe yeah. I do. Maybe I don't. I don't care. It's I don't be care. An insider. Darling. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I want to know this one. What's your okay. favorite trick to perform? My favorite trick to perform is anyone that fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> they all work. They all do. They all do because we rehearse the hell out of them until right. they do. So yeah, I would say my favorite trick in our current arsenal is the mini cube zag, which is not a trick I came up with. But the reason I love it is it is an illusion that happens as close as we are, completely surrounded, and it is really a great fooler. Oh, cool! I did. I wish I created it, but mini I didn't. Mini cube zag. What's, yeah, what's the it, I, you can idea. look it up. Okay, I mean, that's okay, exactly what it's called technically. We call it bang bang when we do it because that's the song we do it to oh, yeah so cool. you know so it's but it's really cute our, our routine for it is cute but the the trick itself is as a magician it's like this is rad wait until you see it and it kind of helped hone and refine my personality as a magician instead of being mm-hmm. like oh here's a quarter now it's gone you're stupid <laughs> which so many magicians do it was more of a hey watch this, this is rad and it, and it took all the onus off of being a magician because I had a real hard time with it as an actor okay I have a question yeah so as a comic, when you like, w- it becomes harder to laugh at comedy the longer that you do it. Because yeah. you just watch it and you're like, oh, I know the math. I get how it's going. Or you go, that's funny. That's, yeah. That's pretty yeah. good. And then is, you think you fucker. Is it similar <laughs> as a magician where you're just like, I know what you're doing, asshole. I know uh, your tricks. Or... Yes and no. I love to be fooled. I love okay. that there's, and I think that most people who are genuinely skeptic feel that way. At least I hope so. You yeah. know, actualized people are like, oh, that was a good one. Yeah. And I try to learn from it. Yeah. You know, so that's that's more my take. It's not like, oh, I know everything. It's more of a, come on, please fool me. Give me something I've never seen before. Surprise me. Right. And, and I'm yeah. more disappointed when I do know how it, it, you know, like when I come out and I see it's the same box mm-hmm. and I know what's going to happen. It's like, oh, whereas when I see something I've never seen before, it's like, oh, hey, hey, that's a good idea. The timing on that was really good. And so I try to learn. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of sense. And yeah. do you come up with the, do you just come up with tricks like, out of thin air or do you like sometimes, sometimes like mod so you just get an idea and you're like how do, what what comes first the idea of how it's going to look and then you're like how do I do that Yes. It, well, it, no. Yes to both, actually, is what happens. Sometimes I hear a song and I see magic things happening in my head and then we do that. Sometimes I will have a trick at home and go, you know what? This actually could be used for something different. Sometimes I'll be walking through an estate store mm-hmm. and pick up a baby shoe and go, I wonder if I could slip a something in here and make it do something ghosty. <laughs> you know, like, I, and so. I want to go yard sailing with you real bad. Oh, <laughs> Magnolia Boulevard is rad. For, oh, like, all yeah. The, yeah, the resale shops and stuff. Mm-hmm. So what. In this, in the seance room specifically, ghosts don't haunt Tenyo Effects, which is like a, a, a Japanese company that makes plastic magic tricks, and they're, and they're very good. You know, they're they're well renowned, mm-hmm. but that's not where ghosts reside. If you're going to go see a seance and you want to see a ghost, they live in everyday objects. That's mm-hmm. just the way it works. So I had to create magic tricks or appropriate magic tricks, and I've done both in that room, um, using everyday objects and genuine new agey stuff, so that the seance, even though it's a fake seance, and I never make any bones about the fact that it is, and I tell you that at the end. Yeah. Um, it looks real because it's a theatrical experience. So I refer to myself as a theatrical medium. So mm-hmm. the and this is a long answer to your very short question. No, yeah. But yeah, the yeah. so I was 
in that room, I was inspired by the environment to use everyday objects, reappropriate magic tricks, and make these everyday objects magic. That's that room. When we're on stage, sometimes I buy a trick, reappropriate it, we make it ours. I do it as is if we're short on time until I have a chance to make it ours. But it's really important that we make it ours. Sometimes I have an idea and go to a builder or I'll build it myself. I have cut things in my garage. Vice just did a documentary and they came and followed me around for a day. And they've got me with safety glasses on, grinding through a silver ring, trying to figure something out. That's just how it works. Because if it doesn't exist on the market, you have to make it. So sometimes I have an idea and follow it through. Sometimes I hear music and decide to put something that already exists Mm. to that. Sometimes someone will be like, hey, do you want this thing? And I'm like, yeah. And we'll just take it. Or I'll be like, no. (laughs) But depending on what it is, and we'll turn it into something else. You know, like I just painted a, there's a trick called the Temple of Benares, which is a big Middle Eastern palace. It's about this big. And you, a girl gets in it, you put swords through it, and then she's gone. Mm-hmm. Well, when is it going to be appropriate in our current political climate for me to take a Middle Eastern palace and put scimitars through it? The answer is never. <laughs> right. yeah, never yeah, yeah. is the answer. And I was like, but the magic of this is it's cute. It's acceptable. It's an easy to pack, pack small plays, big illusion. I'm going to turn it into a gingerbread house and put candy canes through it. Hmm. Oh, is it the best cute. magic in the world? No, it's cute. It's fine. We do it to Christina Aguilera's Candyman. Uh, <laughs> nice. And I produce a big gingerbread man at the end of it. And it's really, really, it's darling. Is it one of the things I'm super proud of? No. But it's really cute. But you we adapted with, it. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, yeah. and, I, and, I, and I made these giant lollipops. I made them with cool. glitter and, and they look great. And we do this cor- really cute, you know, boogie woogie bugle boy kind of choreography to it. And it's branded. It's ours. Nobody else owns that. Yeah. The Temple of Benares is all over the world. You create a gingerbread man one and I'm going <laughs> to fucking kill you. <laughs> you know, and is it so good? No. But is it really cute? Yeah. And is it that important? Nope. <laughs> yeah. It's just fun. I love you. Yes. Yes. One of my favorite no. guests we've had. <laughs> well, thanks, man. By far. Yeah. Um, well, we got to take a break, but we'll be okay, back. Okay, I'll be for some advice. Yeah. Hey, we're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Babs. I'm Tess. I'm Misty, and they didn't ask me to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We jumped right she in. What's up? <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, every week we like to answer, uh, advice and give advice to the people that write in, um, for a little segment called Lady Problems. Hit it, David. Oh boy. Oh boy. Keep forgetting we have a new one. <laughs> Trapper John. Lady. Yeah. Lady, Lady Problems. Awesome. Is this you guys? Lady. Yep. Mm-hmm. We just made this. Lady Problems. Awesome. Lady Problems. Do you have them? <laughs> Lady Problems. Yes. Tess has got the whisper down. Yes. Uh-huh. Thank you. Yes. So this is a lady problem update. Yeah. Uh, you want to do it? Yeah. Uh, we answered this one a couple months ago, and uh, we got a we got a response, and it makes me really happy. Um, here's a very positive update. As cheesy as this sounds, the new year was a renewal and change for me. I decided to take back my life and put myself first. I found this local event called Story Story Night here in Boise. The first time I went up, I was able to go up on stage and tell a five-minute true story about the time I got lost in college on my way back from the bar, tripped, and how, uh, somehow I fell on my boobs and saved my face. Mm. Uh, there's a couple words missing there. Um I decided to put in a story for the next month as a featured storyteller. It was a life changer to tell a room of over 100 strangers about my horrible marriage. Funny enough, everything changed after that. I felt like I took my life back and everything fell into place after that. I now have a better job and I have a wonderful man in my life who has now moved in and we are talking about our life together. It is interesting that once you feel like you don't need someone else in your life, you can do it on your own. That person walks in and can compliment your life so well. And I hate to admit that once I stopped looking, it really did happen. Thank you, ladies, for being there so much for me in good times and bad. Love you all and hope to make it to an event and see you in the flesh. Hope that doesn't sound creepy. Aww. <laughs> Not creepy at all. And Aww, we're really congrats. proud of you. Awesome. We can see Great. a lot more of your flesh if he comes down to the park. That's because true. nipples are visible. Yes. yes. Exactly. Although you'll see them like under the cloth. Okay. Generally. Mystery, 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 yeah. mystery. Yeah. So, just congratulations. I listened to your story, and it was really great. And I think you know, getting out there, making it happen. That's awesome. Just congratulations. We're really proud of you. Yeah. Cool. Uh, good job. Yeah. And good job on us for helping you. No, I think <laughs> it's for so you guys. true. Uh, See, now that was, was a fish. Yeah, <laughs> that was a fish. But I'm going to give it to you. You guys really made a difference. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. I have no so idea nice what you did you. or what you said, we, but it was effective, I think, did, and I think that's rad. Right? I think yeah. is this someone that we? What did we tell her to leave a guy? I think we said dump him. Dump him. We probably told. Okay. What we get a lot of dump generally... him. Dump him. Chance. Yeah. 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 If it <laughs> seems, cool. Know. 
Yeah. If it's appropriate. Uh, it's, it's almost always appropriate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's a lady problem update. Here's a new lady problem. Uh, okay. Hi, ladies. I recently moved with my boy's boyfriend and best friend into a row of duplexes in a suburb of Philadelphia. I like our new neighborhood a lot. My neighbor's always friendly, but today was rough and weird. We're very close with our neighbors in the duplex next door, and we were at our local walkable bar with them today, a Sunday. When we walked up, we saw our friend's duplex neighbor. They live in the same physical building leaving the bar. He and his partner, wife, or girlfriend have a little girl who's maybe one or two. Anyway, this guy was leaving the bars. We were coming in. We got our beers and went to hang out at the picnic tables outside. Maybe a half hour later, one friend's... Oh, God, this is so confusing. The wife came through holding their kid. She walked into the barn almost immediately out of it, long enough to check and make sure the guy we had previously seen was leaving wasn't in there, and walked away to go look for him. This happens fairly frequently. We've seen this guy storm out of their house before and leave multiple times, once with her following him and saying, God damn it. It his name. I know this is not my problem, but there's a way I can reach out to this woman in a relationship and let her know that I'm here if she needs a place to go or someone to watch her kid while she tracks down her wandering partner slash somewhere to go to just be out of her situation for a minute. I haven't seen any friends at their place, so I don't know how isolated they are or anything about their relationship. I'm not trying to be a nosy asshole. I just want her to know if she needs a friend. I can be here for her since we are literally neighbors. Any idea how I can say, hey, your boyfriend slash husband seems sort of shitty? Do you want a buddy without actually saying that? Am I assuming too much about the relationship? They can be... Obviously, relationships are very complicated, even without kids. Should I just mind my own business? How can I support struggling women in my community without being a jerk? Thank you, Jordan. You can say my name if you want. Yeah. That's right. I mean, it was a little confusing about what she was saying. So I guess that seems like the guy's storming off a lot and the, and the wife, wife is, is chasing him. Yeah. 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 And my first question to Jordan would be, why do you want to befriend a woman who drags her baby into a bar? After yeah. her no good boyfriend, mm-hmm. yeah. other than to help encourage her and give her a support system if she needs to dump this guy, mm-hmm. but you don't know what she's doing in the house, you know, like yeah. you, it, it, not knowing why in the world this individual is taking off. Mm-hmm. And so, if you start asking questions, and I'm not encouraging you not to get involved if there's an injustice or mm-hmm. if you hear domestic violence, you know, my God, please, yes, yes absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But to reach out and be like, hey, I'm here. If your partner's a piece of shit, you're putting out an advertisement and you better be ready for it to be answered. Yeah. You know, like, so the question is, why do you want to get involved first? And that if you have a legit, I'm legit concerned about the the girl. Mm -hmm. I'm legit concerned about the baby. As long as you have a a legit why. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's a a really important question. I think you have to answer first. Yeah, Yeah, you got to be ready to get into some shit if you're going to, if you're going to I mean, people are storming out of each other's houses and running into the bar. What, yeah, that's not a solution to the answer. You know, that's not that's not a you know, that's not a good solid solution of communication. That's true. Helping but then them to work it out. But I guess my first instinct was like, if that woman took her baby into the bar, she was fucking pissed and desperate. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. so, she might and like if she doesn't have any friends, I don't think that she even needs to mention. I think, hey, it seems like your boyfriend kind of sucks. Yeah. I think you can just be like, hey, I'm watching TV. Do you want to come over? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys live close. Like, if you, if it seems like she feels isolated, I definitely wouldn't couch it in terms of, like, you seem like you're in a bad relationship. No. Yeah, don't approach no, 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 a stranger. No, no, no. Next be time like, she storms out, you can be like, are you okay? Yeah. 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 That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, are you okay? It. And if she goes, yes, I'm fine, then she's fucking fine. Then you leave her yeah. alone. <laughs> you know, are yeah. you okay is probably the first thing that I would ask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And not, oh, Hey, uh, yeah. I see. I see you. You running down the street a lot with your baby, and you run into a bar, and you're chasing your guy, and he seems like he storms out. Yeah. Are you okay? No, fucking. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Next time you see it happening. Yeah. And in also in that instance, it's like that can work either way. If like she, it might make her feel better to know that somebody is witnessing it, or if what she is doing is setting sending that guy away That's it. what if she's, then the she's like oh shit somebody's watching like it's it, it makes her aware that there is an audience of some kind that's aware of her actions well, in people, either way yeah are being yeah. affected by her behavior mm-hmm. regardless in one way or the other i mean don't you th- I, to me this does seem like his behavior though how like, do we know i don't necessarily know that what did she say in that we don't know what she said in the house we don't know what he's doing I guess I just trust women more than men. What if she's a I mean, porn addict? I mean, I do too, but I, you know, she could she's be. she's a porn addict? Then I still think you can be a good mom and a porn addict. I didn't say she was a bad mom either. Yeah. I don't know anything about this lady. Yeah. Right, I mean, no, I mean, I would, I would obviously tend to, yeah. But the thing is, you don't know. No, there you is, don't know. You don't know. It yeah. could, we have no fucking idea what's going yeah, on. Yeah. So there's no point. So if you're in, concerned you know. whether or not she's okay, ask her if she's okay. Yeah. 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 Ask yeah. him if he's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you hear things through the walls that sound like big fights, call the police. Yes. yes. You know, definitely call the police. I maybe throw a neighborhood barbecue and invite them. <laughs> you know, like I would 
I would keep a distance of some kind unless this really seems like a, some, you know. I disagree. I mean, I think she probably wrote because th- obviously she's having, I mean, I think you have to trust your instincts too. Yeah. It's pretty, I think you can pretty intuitively tell when mm-hmm. someone is unhappy or isolated or something like that if you're living in close proximity to them. Yeah. So I would say that I, I would leave the conflict out of it completely at first mm-hmm. and just very casually be like, Hey, dude, you know, I don't know, I like to cook or like I'm cool with kids. If you ever like want to bring your kid over and just like make dinner with me or like Mm -hmm. I would just it sounds like what you want to offer this woman is like possibly a reprieve from what you think might be a bad situation. So Mm -hmm. I think you can do that without getting into like the drama of their relationship. Yeah, I just think it's very, very important to like be conscious of setting bound of of be aware of your boundaries, not necessarily setting them. You know what I mean? Like, don't just be careful. Yeah, be definitely be careful because, yeah, you you're. I, I agree with Tess. It's like just kind of ba- make it casual and make it like about mm-hmm. just like a hangout friend thing and not being like, tell me about your fucked up relationship. Well, you and know? also I'm here to be your babysitter. That's right. a dangerous Pandora's box to open. Yeah. And yeah. if it's like, you know, I'm worried about the kid. Well, then maybe offer to take the kid out every once in a while, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. like in just that and say, you know what? I see you guys don't normally get out. Yeah, I, I'm doing this really cool thing. You want to bring the child or would you mm-hmm. like me to take the child for the day if you trust me? You know, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. There's there's positive ways to yeah. become a positive influence in someone's life. But my my whole thing and one of the things Carol Ann, she's my patron saint today, taught me is reserve yeah. it for those who deserve it. Yeah. And if you've yeah. got someone who's blown out of a house and someone she's confident and OK if she's chasing him. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's all right. She's not an abused woman who's kept in the house. And, you know, like mm-hmm. if she's blown out the back door after him, she's got some she's all right. Yeah. yeah you know, and because yeah. if, if she was afraid of him, she mm-hmm. would stay home. And I and, and again, I don't public. know. Yeah. But the behavior, yeah. the outside of the behavior is this this lady is going after him. Mm-hmm. She's confident. That's a confident I mean, and the thing is, if you if you start like putting yourself in that situation, this could be one of those couples that literally this is what they're going to do for the next 10 years and Mm -hmm. nothing's really ever going to happen. But this is their relationship. And now you're in it. And so now you're just like, hey, uh," you know, which if if you want to be friends with this woman, that's a separate thing. But that's Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. this literally could just be what they're going to do forever. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Just protect yourself. I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's number one. It's it's great to be thoughtful of others, Mm -hmm. but be careful and protect yourself. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and and yeah, obviously, like we said, if you if there's something a hint of something more you know bad going on, obviously call the police and get, get yeah, involved. Yeah, I guess totally. it's tough to tell. I think sort of like I feel like she wrote this letter because she sensed that something bad was going on, but again, it's yeah. tough to tell. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. More information required. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you seem like a very sweet person. I'm just yes, that's very nice. Of you you seem a very sweet, like very giving person. I just like know that like. Right. Givers can sometimes be taken advantages, be oh. taken advantage by takers, and just you need to be aware of that. Givers have to. Have, I mean, like we have like the worst boundaries. Yes, you know like, that's why. Yeah, it's something you really have to cultivate. Yeah, yeah, because mm-hmm. people can sense that too. And, I like that. Reserve it for those who I deserve, deserve it. it. Yeah, yeah. Really. Carol yeah. Ann, man. Yes, mm-hmm. <laughs> I love Carol Ann. I swear to God, she's my spirit animal. <laughs> Badger. Well, that's it. Yeah. That's our show. Yeah, I think that'll do. That it. petered out, didn't it? <laughs> we all just kind of sat there and went. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. I just no. I just like pictured a badger. For, I, I pictured a badger. A badger. I felt so good. I was yeah, just yeah. like, I love a badger. Yeah, I do. I love a good. Badger I always thought too. a badger would make a really good superhero animal because mm-hmm. of the giant claws and the the stripes are very dynamic. I always thought that there should be a badger superhero. I feel like there is one, and I don't know what it is, and I'm going to lose all my I, nerd credit. I bet there's something. It's a out it's there. a nagging wife. No, that's, yeah. a, that's the badger, there's right? Badger that's the meddler. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there is a badger that that wears a badger and has badger like skin on his head and his arms almost like From... in a Native American thing. Yeah, I okay. feel like that's a thing, and I'm really embarrassed. I don't know which it's, comic. I can see it in my head either. a little bit. Yeah. I'm picturing Darkwing Duck. I think. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a badger. That's a, that's a duck. No, I know, but there's bad guys on Darkwing Duck. I know Darkwing Duck. Yeah, yes. no way. There is a, in you. Strawberry Shortcake. Weren't the bad guys badgers? I thought that was the pie man. <laughs> I'm the peculiar purple pie man. Yeah, right, right. But there's a bad guy badger in like some kids' books. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, it'd well, be a perfect. There's, there's the badger in Wind the, the Wind of the Well, He wasn't bad though. He just no, was, he was like, "Hey, stop spending your money, you idiot!" And stop driving look it so up. fast. I think it's, I think it's strawberry shortcake. I mean, look I up. really need to know, guys. Okay, look it up. Look yeah. it up. Well, and oh, I turned my phone off. Can we look? Brandy's can we Google badger superhero? Brand, oh, she's oh, on Brand, it. Badger yeah. superhero. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, figure this right. out. So what, no, somebody needs mind. to do it's strawberry shortcake. And There's just pictures to... of oh the badger hole. Strawberry shortcake. The badger hole. The badger hole. Oh God. 
Badger superhero. Okay, this doesn't. Whatever. Wait, uh, well, we're badger superheroing over here okay. while you guys are strawberry shortcaking. Yeah, we're gonna figure badger? this out. Yeah, we're gonna have an answer yes. for your listeners. Ba- it's just called Badger. The His superhero is, badger. is a badger. It's a comic. Oh, Badger. Yeah, but that's not what I was thinking. Oh. Yes, that's a guy. And, and he is he is holding a dead bird. Um, <laughs> that is not what I was thinking, but I'm yes, there is one. But you were right. Yeah, well, no, I wasn't right. I yeah. was wrong. I was guessing. <laughs> oh, just this is a freebie, though. You were accidentally right. Yeah. Mm. She's not going to take that. I can tell. She's not going to take that. that. Right. I don't need that. Right. All right. All right. Let's get whatever. Yeah. Uh, Misty, badger, what's badger, your, uh, badger. 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 What's your Twitter <laughs> handle, and where can people find you on? Oh camera? my God! I'm Misty underscore Lee on Twitter. Awesome. And on Instagram, I'm Magical Misty Lee. Same on Vine, I think. Uh, and Misty www.mistylee.com is the magic stuff, and www.mistyleecosmetics.com is the yummy, smelly good stuff. Hell yeah! yeah. Awesome. Check Bring her out everywhere. Go yeah. see, go see a <laughs> yeah, show at awesome. Magic Castle. And yeah, thank you so much for being on the show. You were so much. Yeah, this fun. was great. Really awesome. So nice. I had a great time. Hell yeah! I want to learn that choreography. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to teach you right after. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> we're going to find your leotards. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I, I can't wait to see this out number. <laughs> <laughs> can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.